Would Neville and Luna have really worked out? Were they a good match? Neville certainly thought so, but nothing materialised and both married different people. So what actually happened with Neville and Luna? Happiness can be found, even in the darkest of times. One only remembers to turn on the light. Luna and Neville became very good friends. In fact, she thought very highly of him, enough to include him on her friend's mural on her bedroom wall. I think she was kind of a first crush for Neville, the first time he really liked somebody. However, despite their friendship, they did have their differences. Neville wasn't the most confident person. Negativity really brought him down. His confidence was shot for long parts of the story. So when he finally did come out of his shell and began to deliver on his magical prowess, he finally felt like he fit in, like he belonged. And that's why I see Neville as a home bird, someone who won't want to leave for adventure. He sticks to what he's best at, teaching herbology and enjoying the Hogwarts grounds because Neville is a person who gets his confidence from sustainability and longevity. He just doesn't seem like a person who can adapt to unpredictability and not knowing what's going to happen. Whereas Luna on the other hand embraces being different. She could not care what anyone thinks, nor would she ever. Luna craves adventure. She loves exploring and discovering things anew. She's traveled with her father quite a lot, most notably to Sweden in search of the crumple horned Snorkak don't get me wrong, there's nothing to say that Neville wouldn't love the chance to examine exotic wild plants in different parts of the world. It's just the fact that being so far away from his comfort zone at home, it would make him very uncomfortable, while Luna would be looking to discover her next creature constantly on the move. The only positive thing about them in terms of a relationship is the fact that neither of them seen the flaws that so many others did. Neville didn't think Luna was odd or weird. He enjoyed her open personality, and Luna never saw Neville as a nervous, weak wizard. She knew he could improve if he kept practicing. Her encouragement could have possibly been part of why Neville began to grow, and most likely the reason he developed feelings for her in the beginning. As a relationship, I feel these two simply don't work, but still complement each other as friends. They both married the right people in the end. Neville with Hannah Abbott, who took over the Leaky Cauldron, creating this ability that he always wanted, and along with his job, he would be pretty comfortable, while Luna found another free spirit like her in Wolf Scamander. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram, at instadeanj, for when I hit 3,000 followers, I'm going to be giving away 15 wands, where the winners of these wands can choose the wand of their choice. Every 3,000 followers that I achieve, I'm going to be giving away another 15 wands. So make sure you are subscribed at InstaDeanJ. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If I have earned your subscription, then please make sure to click that subscribe button as it is very important in helping my channel grow. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up as it's also important in helping the video grow. Thank you very much again for watching and I hope you all have a great day.